good morning. So this is another test. It's kind of twilight right now. And usually what I do is I just leave my aperture like as open as I can get at 1.4, right? But a fellow YouTuber, bigger guy, at least compared to me, uh, V Travels, suggested that I lock my aperture a little bit tighter, in this case for an f2.8, and let ISO rise a little bit, because this is basically, well, it's the FX3 or the A7S3, which is apparently very good at low light. And we're going to see how much noise kind of creeps in when we jump our ISO a little bit. And we're actually standing at Nate right now, just outside the Spartan Center. And we've got a pretty good example of the low end dynamic range right now. All these blacks, and as we know, noise kind of creeps in in the shadows. There we are, there's an 8 building there. Kind of take a look at the sky, and what I'm going to do when I process this and put it in YouTube is look for banding up there, just to kind of see what that looks like. And the other benefit, I suppose, of keeping the aperture a little bit tighter is focus has to work less, which is really kind of nice. And in this case, in low light, what I found works very well uh, for autofocus is setting it to zone or wide, because uh, the center point doesn't always function very well, but it looks like 2.8 is the way to go. Everything's really crisp, not a lot of focus hunt, everything else looks really good. And if you're interested in a standard picture profile, I've just cranked the saturation up a couple points until it kind of matches my eye. Over here we've got a parkade with some concrete falling off. I don't know if you can see that up there, but looks like a panel is actually broken free up there. I wonder if that's damaged from a snowplow or something like that. It's going to suck when that falls off. downside to summer coming, spring in this case, is the sun comes up a lot earlier. And so all that wonderful night footage really doesn't happen unless you go out really late or really early. And at this point in my life, I kind of like sleeping in. Hmm. So again, yeah, F2.8 on the 24 millimeter GM. ISO is allowed to creep to 6400 but in this case it's actually only really heading up to around 1600 yeah the neat thing about Nate if you ever end up down here is even the mundane architecture looks really good like they, they, they put a lot of thought into ensuring that what they were teaching was kind of reflected in the industrial design Security hasn't shown up yet, so we'll keep exploring. Spring. Have a great day.